guys, this will be a guide on how to complete the achievement Hopping Sad. First thing you want to do is to track the achievement. So you can see I have credit for two of the objectives already, but I'll be going through all 10 locations. I'm just above the U in Zoldazar. Head down into this cavern. The only hostile mob is that protective river beast in the right hand side. And the frog is towards the back of the cavern. Beast. Next up, below the Terrace of Sorrows, see this other little cave. Third location is in another little cave. All you have to do if you don't have flying is to follow the path up very close to one of the Azerite Vault quests. So this was one I just stumped across as I was questing. And this next one is pretty close by. This was the other one I stumbled across very early on in the beta. And you'll find it just at the top of this plateau. Keep walking in this direction towards the edge of the cliff there, you'll see it. This is another one that's relatively close by. Just head to the top of this waterfall. And the frog is located at the base of the tree on the Back side here. Just above the Shoal Jai tar pits. It's kind of on the outskirts of one of those Sethrak camps. Underneath these huge tree roots, find him just chilling out here. So below these ruins, you'll find another little frog in one of these little open areas underneath. So just head to the right hand side. On the bottom right hand side of the Heart of Darkness. Right between all these trees. And now on the home stretch, last two to go. So just look for those two banners ahead of me. And just below the water here, you'll see another little underwater cave. And the frog is just to the right of this clam. And lucky last.
This last one was definitely the hardest out of all 10. So look for the humongous fish to my left there. Then all you have to do is dive down and underneath this skeleton you'll find another little passageway. And there you go, all 10 locations. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like. And hopefully you're already a subscriber to the channel if you do enjoy treasure hunting, pet battle videos, and relic hunting type stuff. There's also memberships open for people who would like to support the channel as well, which is always appreciated.